Let's talk about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. We have a guest today, and that is Christina. Hello, Christina. Hello, Andrew. Uh, How are you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I, I feel like we're going out for dinner. We, we are. Like, All right. I'm just waiting for the waiter to come in, you know, and Where's bring my the wine? entree in. Exactly, yeah. But some of you may recognize Christina, some of you may not. So, you know, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, well, I've been in some of the older videos in yeah. the channel so you might recognize me from then um i'm a massive gamer um i'm not a serious gamer i'm more of a casual gamer well it depends on the game <laughs> not a serious gamer but when we started going out right <laughs> christina was more interested in her kill death ratio on call of duty and whether or not she could beat me than anything now else. Now you've just let my secret out that I so, like Call of Duty. And there you go. Yeah, well, we all do. Is, and uh, Call of Duty <laughs> might be coming to the Switch. Yeah, if true. you've seen one of my videos recently, you would Very know true. that. You would know that. Yeah. That's a whole other discussion because I've got thoughts on that. It but, is. Yeah, well, maybe not, we do that in a separate video. Maybe, <laughs> I'm not going to go into that now. But yeah, basically, I'm not as kind of technical as you are. So like Andrew will me? like go... Technical? And look into like every single article. He'll look at every single piece of equipment that you can get, every accessory. I'm kind of like, I like this game. And if I really like it, then I'll know pretty much everything about it. And I might get pretty good, but I'm not like competitive level. No, so, like, <laughs> no, but, but you are like what I would call a more serious gamer. You, you don't just play freaking Farmland or whatever it's called on your phone. Yeah. You, you get stuck into it. So, or FIFA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we don't, we don't play those. Who said that? But, you know, <laughs> Christina and I have spent thousands of hours playing games. Yeah. We've played many, many, many games. And, you know, I always talk about her on the channel with reviews and well, stuff. Well, now you've got a face and to a name if you don't there know There you go. That. I find it really weird. I just hear him in the other room going, and my wife, Christina, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, stop talking about me. No one cares. Like, yeah, <laughs> stop talking about some me. Some people still watch your old videos and they go, when are we going to see Christina again? Oh, my God, again? they're so bad. Some of those so, are awful. I do not, you know, I don't want you going looking at those. Just, no. <laughs> But I look back and I just think no. <laughs> but anyway, you are, you know, what I would call a more serious gamer. Christina's really good. So just to put it in perspective before we get on to today's topic properly, right? Super Mario 3D World. Oh my yeah? god, Dane. Okay. <laughs> Got so PTSD that game, from that, that game is absolutely nails, right? It really is. And yeah. if you're a casual player, that's fine. So Christina's like, I'm a casual player. No, she's not, because we both have to 100% games, right? <laughs> we go through, we've got to find all the secret items, we've got to do everything we can, and that game is nails mm. to get through some of those levels, especially with certain characters that have, like, you know, more of a handicap or a disability compared to other ones, right? Mm. And I couldn't do most of the levels. Christina did, and they are, like, old-school Mario-style, like... Yeah. You know, rage quit the end, level. The end level you know? was the one that... It no was more, than end, no more than end level. Well, yeah. It's like every other level yeah. towards halfway through. But, they were nails. But the end level was the worst. Like, I mean, we probably spent between us about 10 hours each trying to oh, do that end level. I don't know. Too, too, too and, much And time. I would literally sit there like... I don't know if like any of you at home get this, but I get this where I get like super rage and... I can see why people throw controllers. <laughs> like, I can really understand that. But I'm like... I have to put bubble wrap around I'm us. too precious on that stuff. So I'm like, I'm not throwing it. And I know he'd kill me. So, but I get that bubbling up of, I'm going to absolutely either kill you or someone else or myself. I don't know. But like, yeah, it was getting to that point where I had to just really master Zen and kind of meditate and be like, no, you can do this. Just breathe. Oh, you've died again. Don't worry. There's a Goomba. He's just, you you know that Goomba's there, but it doesn't matter. You've just died again. Oh, isn't that one? And that's what it was like. That was what was going through my head instead of the usual what you want is like, oh my God, I've just died again on the same bit. Ah! Yeah, so. So there you go. So that's to put it in perspective. Uh, I'll calm down. Um, <laughs> Christina's very it, I, I get very, very uh, affected by uh, mm. that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's bad memories. current addiction recently it's been Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yes. So just to pull this back a little bit before we properly start talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I've always been into Pokemon. If you're, you know, a regular on the channel, you know that. But you'll also know I took a period of time out of Pokemon where I didn't really play it because I kind of thought they were a bit boring. Like, there was the same thing over and over and over again. And then, you know, I said to Christina, like, I love Pokemon. This is years ago. She's like, nah. And I'm like, 
Sorry, hang on sorry, minute, what? Okay. Hang on. What? Hang on. Let me put this in perspective, right? I was the kid at school that collected all the Pokemon cards and and I was one of the rare ones that actually knew how to play it with the little glass pebbles and everything. So in your face, right? Because you didn't even <laughs> no, know how to play no, that no, game. No, no, yeah, no. So I putting this I, I in perspective. I actually genuinely had a shiny Charizard. I, I, I've I still got a shiny Gyarados. So, nice. Or Gyarados, however you say it. But anyway, so yeah. I've I've I like Pokemon. I used to like watching it. I used to like but you know you playing the card the games. games. But the actual video games, I was never into because it was a bit Zelda esque for me. Um, well, I think your issue was that it was turn based, and you don't. Really yeah, like turn-based. but it was also very Zelda esque. You know, like yeah, the early RPG-ish. ones, like yeah, yeah. on the game, like the Game Boy and stuff like mm-hmm. that. They were never really my thing. I never really got into that kind of game. So, and obviously anything turn based, I I'm not. A big fan of um so yeah there are some exceptions though because everyone yeah. takes everyone literally takes a mickey out of me on the channel right mm. because i go don't like turn-based and then i'm like yeah pokemon or i'm like yeah whatever it could be like if there's so yeah. many other games that are turn-based but it's and the then they're like i thought you didn't like turn-based i'm like no i don't but i love this game <laughs> the, it is the type of turn-based though i get what you're saying like I, I think we're both kind of particular yeah on, on what games that we accept yeah. as being turn-based it works you know? or it doesn't like i don't know it's just frustrating i find um but, but yeah like I, I i mean obviously it started with us playing arceus yeah but, or arceus as some of you no, americans no, say no, what is that about no like, it's arceus, Ar- arceus. <laughs> It's just We're wrong. We're not talking about our asses. Right? No, exactly, no, exactly. It's Arceus. Pokemon Legends <laughs> Arceus. But anyway, just to go back. So Christine was like, nah. And I was like, oh. Because I wanted us to play them together because I wanted to start getting back into Pokemon. Christine was like, I just don't like the games. I'm like, Ugh. And then at the beginning of the year, 2022, actually, it was January. Basically, Pokemon was like, yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus what like open zone like this whole new catching mechanic like a whole different game a whole new premise Mm. different from the main line it's not gen 9 it's kind of like gen 8.5 if you want to call it that gen (laughs) 8.5 and then you you know you it just i looked at it and went this looks amazing and i was like she did that and, and i had to try and make up a like a way of convincing Christina that she's going to like it. The thing is, right? is we don't have that like classic relationship where he has to convince me because usually we're really similar and oh, we yeah. usually yeah, like yeah. exactly the same thing. So if he's buying guitars, it's different, right? I have no sympathy for that. And I'm like, look, you've got three, two of them are on the wall, leave it alone. You don't need another free gram for another piece of kit you're not going to use. So like, that's I do different. Use them. Thank you very much. Games wise, I'm like, oh yeah, great. But yeah, it was a bit of a gamble because you weren't sure how I was going to react because it was like Pokemon. But yeah. But I was like, it's, it's, it's new. Yeah. You go back in time. You know, it's it's not about the fighting. It's, it's about collecting the Pokemon yeah. and you can actually throw the ball. Like, Which I love. Stuff. And then Christine was like, all right. And then she was like, I'm not really fast. I was like, I've already bought it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so tough. Yeah. So I've got a copy each. <sighs> and no, I ordered the first one and I got it on the day, like pre-ordered. And then you went, what are you playing? Because I did some, I think I did a live stream mm. of, of the game and then you went, oh, that actually does look quite cool. I was like, right, we're going to the shop. So we literally went in the car, drove to the shop and we bought her a copy and they said they didn't have any left and they had one around the back, didn't they? Mm. She was like, you know, whatever. But anyway, so Christina really got into Arceus. We both sunk, I don't know, like 60 plus hours into that and we loved it. It was really, really good. And then obviously Scarlet and Violet were announced and it's like, Sweet. This is a proper things, Gen 9. Yeah, there were some things that we were still wanting from that Arceus. Like, there were still little things we were, like, wishing it could do. And yeah, little yeah, did yeah, we yeah. know that Scarlet and Violet would come out and kind of grant our wishes of what we wished we could do. Yeah, and- well, obviously, as a gaming couple, because we, we game, like, we don't watch TV or anything like that. You know, we watch movies, yeah. but we do that, and then we play games, and that's it. So- and series, there yeah, are yeah, some yeah, good yeah. series too. Yeah. But you know, we, we mainly play games and that's not just on Nintendo. We've got PS5 as well and we've got yeah. gaming PCs as well. But we mainly play Nintendo yep. games, you know. But either way, we always try and play together. And there's so many games that we're like, why is this not co-op? Why is this not multiplayer? Or the current thing, and you will know with me talking to AJ, you know, from our PlayStation channel, 128KB News, go subscribe over there for everything PlayStation, that we always rage about local co-op, right? So it will be like, yeah, it's got co-op. 
online multiplayer. So <laughs> you're saying <laughs> that we need to have two consoles, PS5s yeah. and two like OLED TVs next to each other so that we can play together as a couple. No. Mm. Like, no. Whereas, you know, on Nintendo, there are more party games. There I know, are more like co-op games. I've just come up with the idea, though. I'll move out. <laughs> I'll have my own place. And then I'll have all, all my own stuff. And then all I right. can just go there. I'll have my own little bachelorette pad that I can go to and we can play games. And and when you annoy me, I can yeah, go there as well. Because not only do you have to buy all that stuff, you'll have to buy another house. You're not allowed a man cave to do that either. <laughs> but anyway, that really annoys me, right? When there's stuff that is online co-op only and not local. And yeah. that really is annoying. And obviously we've got two switches. Christina's got the Switch Lite. I've got the, the OLED. So that makes it a lot easier because we don't need to buy extra TVs and all this rubbish. And of course, playing Arceus, our one major thing was I'm sat there playing docked on the sofa. Christina's sat playing handheld on the Switch Lite. And it's like, we're doing the same thing in the game. Yeah. Why can't we be together? Yes, You know, exactly. like, this is so frustrating. And then when Scarlet and Violet announced that there would be multiplayer, I'm like, nah, this is going to be some rubbish, like, you know, like, instant-based, like, battle system or something like that, which mm. basically what Pokemon was before. Mm. You, you could battle your friends online. That's it. You couldn't mm. adventure together. And then they announced, like, no, 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 you can actually, like, go around together. And I was still, like, trying to find a catch. And, you know, all my videos leading up to the launch of it, I was like, I still feel like there's not, there's going to be something that you can't do. Or you can only go and adventure and maybe capture Pokemon and then that's it. You, yeah. If you want to do any main storyline events or anything else, you're going to have to back Get out. Get booted out. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the case. If you're not, like, playing Scarlet and Violet and you're new to this, well, actually, it is full-blown essentially co-op yeah. you can be in the game the whole time no matter what you're doing together and yes okay when you do the storyline mission or like a gym battle you do that alone but it doesn't boot you out of the game you are still in the same yeah. game but you just do it by yourself and we actually found that out through a glitch <laughs> because Did we? yeah do you not remember so we were we were in a, a like part of the story where you can't do it together and what happens is like the other character so say I'm talking from my perspective he will disappear his character will go and you're you know it's like as if you sort of step into another realm as such as what it feels like and they've kind of disappeared but <laughs> I was running around and <laughs> Andy went I can see your shadow. Oh, like, yeah. Your shadow's running around. I was like, <laughs> like running oh, around. Funny. And he was like, your shadow's here, but you're not here. So it, it is a bit weird that they, there obviously is the capability in the background for you to actually be seen yeah, 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 in yeah. those in those instances, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you're not. So yeah. that's a bit weird, weird, really. But, but <laughs> So like reining it back a little bit, because obviously we're just talking about multiplayer, which mm. is amazing, you know, like and maybe we'll talk about it more in a second. The game itself, because I haven't done a first impressions video, I wanted to really sink, like sink some time into this mm. before like I gave my impressions because it was obvious on release the games were broken and that's all everyone was talking about because they are. And yes, they are. Even now, even though Nintendo have apologized publicly and said, yeah, they're going to fix things, then they released a patch, which I think all that it did was stop like shiny duplicating or something. It, that was it. There was no performance like patch. Mm. There is serious performance issues. Handheld is better than docked. Christina has Still less, happens, less issues with her Switch Lite than when I'm playing on the TV and I'm mm. like three FPS. I, like, look, running up, after I, I look up and I'm like... Oh my god! How can you play that? Like yeah, it's, horrendous. it's so bad. And if, like if I'm not flying in the game, yeah. so if I'm like running forward, I will just instantly hit a Pokemon because it's that's just invisible. In. Well, yeah, it's, it's invisible. Sometimes yeah, well, it's, it's not not popped in yeah. yet, but the game's like yeah, registered it's there. that it's there. So yeah. I'm like, oh, another fight. Mm. So we're like probably 60, 70 hours in or something. Yeah, we've done all the gyms, but that's reminiscent of the really old Pokemon. So you could say they might have done it on purpose. Yeah, but so, the old know, Pokemon weren't as bad. Yeah, but you know the old Game Boy you, that you didn't know that there were Pokemon there. You'd just be walking around oh, yeah, and just yeah, go, yeah. Psh, yeah, but, battle. And it was like, yeah, oh, yeah. But that's, that's what I hated about it. At least there was like <laughs> a Metal Gear it. Solid style, bling. Like, yeah. you know, at least you kind of knew. Yeah. And you could actually use Repel, which you still mm. can. But, you know, you, you were expecting to just run into Pokemon in long grass. Mm. You know, like you, you just knew it was going to happen. At least in this one, you could see the Pokemon until you can't see them. You know? Yeah. 
But yeah, we've we've done all the gyms, so we've got all eight badges. I think we've done like two or three of the uh, Starfall Street. We were like leaving those to last. We've done all of the um, Arvin's stuff, Herb, Herba Mystica stuff, you know, so we've got all the like mount upgrades essentially. And that's pretty much it. We're, we're saving the Champion League for now because pretty much what we wanted to do was get all the badges so that we could have like the highest level Pokemon core. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were kind of like, we were debating the best way of like going around doing it because like Andy said, I'm kind of the same in the fact that I want to complete an area or complete a thing in one go. You can't really do that as such because I like completing an area and I think we did it the right way in getting the badges first because you start... You start encountering, like, in certain areas, you'll start encountering higher level Pokemon and you'll really want it and you, you won't can't. be able to catch it or yeah. you'll just waste, like, 50, or like, Pokeballs if, if trying to get it. if you do catch it and you've wasted loads of stuff doing that, it won't listen to you. So you can't yeah. use it in battle, as we found out. Mm. So, well, we got to a point where I thought that your starter Pokemon, no matter how high a level it gets, would listen to you because it's your starter Pokemon. I, I think they do, but we made the mistake of trading them between each other. Yeah, so... Andy was stuck on one of the gyms and he didn't have anything that, that was, was like, like high enough level good to enough <laughs> to, to, to do it. So I said, oh, well, I'll just trade you mine. You can trade them back. And he traded them back and then they didn't listen to me. Because they were too high level, yeah. So I was like, oh. Yeah, so I've just basically kicked myself in the foot but here. I think <laughs> we did it the right way. We, we actually did the Herba Mystica first, I think. Mm. I think we got all the sandwiches. amount. Like, yeah, all the sandwiches first so that we could traverse, you know, the open mm. world area first. And then we went and got all the badges. Yeah. Because why not, you know? And then then we were just leaving the Starfall Street thing. Like, at the minute, what we're doing now, we've got all the badges. It's pretty much just going zone by zone like area by area mm. and just trying to capture as much as we can like because yeah. we, we really like capturing the pokemon like, yeah you know, and doing the little like trainers that are just yeah. laying around but that's again a bit of a completionist thing yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah. more of a i want to fill my pokedex yeah. up and and the thing is is i've got this thing with i organize my boxes like i don't know if there's a forum for this there must be for the best way to organize yeah. your scarlet and violet pokemon boxes there's whole games about organization yeah, i know i know there so are like... yeah but like with me i i've got like <laughs> all the evolutions in a row so like you know some take up three spots some take up two you know like and it's just there's a lot of it and not only that you've got different variations in color and all this kind of stuff so like I'm trying to collect them and I'm not no word of a lie I probably spent what three four five hours straight yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sorting my boxes yeah, so easy. my word of advice to anyone that starts playing if you want to eventually or you know you're one of those types of people that thinks you might want to start organizing your boxes do it early on because it gets really heavy later um and if you're the partner of that person that wants to do that, <laughs> don't be in the same room because what they get you to do is just open up your Pokedex for me a, a, a minute so that they can then read the numbers of the Pokemon out so that yeah. you can scroll backwards and forth through the Pokedex whilst they're then playing their game to see whether or not it's going to like, evolve or not or if they've got it. Or there whatever. is a better way of doing it. So I've actually found a website that oh, yeah? has... Yeah, the truth comes out, doesn't it? <laughs> After I sat there for like three hours on the Pokedex like on my phone, Christine was like... You don't seem to be paying much attention. They're numbered, I'm like, by I'm the way. I'm literally on the Pokedex. <laughs> but they're numbered. I can't do anything else. So we were doing like, we were, I was saying, oh, number 33 or whatever, you know, so that he could look and see if there's an empty box next to it and whether that means it's going to like maybe evolve, evolve or not. And if, so yeah. instead, of, instead of messing around like that, which took us ages, I would suggest going on this website, um, which I'll give you the link to and you can pop it in the description if you want. Just Google it. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's a really good one. And it has like all of the numbers and then you can actually click on the Pokemon and it will tell you if it evolves or not as well. Yeah, it will just um, be a, like if you Googled like Pokedex yeah. for Scarlet and Violet. Like yeah, I think, watching, that's what I think that's what yeah, I did. It would be like one of the top links. But it was really, really good. And that saved me a lot of time because then I knew what was going to evolve and I knew where it could sit in my boxes because I've got like things that can't evolve. That's one box. Then I've got Evolution. I've called it Evo123 right great name um and i've got loads of those boxes which are just the evolution from one to three basically if it goes up to three um and then 
I've also got a variations box. So some of them are different colors and things mm. like that. So I've got a variations box. But really think about this stuff before you get right into it. And you've got like, because there's like 390 or something there's, like there's that Pokemon. Pokemon yeah. There's a lot. It's 300 odd Pokemon. Um, and you will soon run out of box space. You can get more boxes throughout the game as well. Yeah, because well, we had like eight to start with. And now we've got like yeah. 16 or more. Yeah, exactly. So you can, you end up being able to store up to like 940 yeah, or something I, I like that. I think there's basically, you can have something like three of each Pokemon or something like that. Yeah, so, so I think it's like 32 boxes in total. Yeah, that would probably make so sense. So you can get up to 32 boxes. So later on, you do get a bit more room to shuffle stuff around, but... You know, it just takes a long time moving stuff in and out of, of that. But one thing I was really kind of disappointed with. Oh, no. What's right? That? Well, other was, than the performance. Other. <laughs> that is shocking. <laughs> um, no, I wasn't going to say that, but yes. Um, is the terrestrialization. Oh, really? I know you're a big fan of it and you I'm always not... tell me off for no, slagging it okay. off. No, it's because you don't didn't understand what it is. I do understand now though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I still don't so like it. it. It's, every, every Pokemon game has like a gimmick, like yeah. some sort of thing. Like like in Legends even where you had the ch champion Pokemon or whatever it was, you know, the the big guys. Alphas. The alphas, yeah. yeah. So you had like alpha Pokemon and stuff like that. In the so, in Arceus. In, in Arceus, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and then every other Pokemon game does something. Yeah. And in Scarlet and Violet is terrestrialization where the Pokemon basically turns into a diamond and then it can either amplify the power of its base type. So let's say it's an electric type, it will just become a stronger electric type, or you can get like special terrestrializations where it'll be like the Pikachu one that you get as a free gift, he's an electric type, but he terrestrializes into a flying type. So you, you can have any combination and you can even change it yourself, yes, you can't can you? By, yeah. by going to a certain vendor in yeah. one of the cities. So, But Christina didn't really get it at I first. Just, no, but I, I didn't really get it at first. Uh, but B, I just kind of think it's kind of pointless. I mean, there are probably people that know a lot more than me about Pokemon Sometimes. and they will use it strategically, yeah. right? That's what it's for. Is To me... I don't need that because I, I find that my Pokemon are so badass that I don't need to worry about any kind. I don't even need, I mean, you know, I don't even need to terrestrialize ever, right? So, like, I do it because I'm like, oh, it's really pretty. Yeah. And I wonder what little thing's going to pop up on his head, you know? But, but, but like, there's a whole, like, I know there of is. people that... Um, are into competitive fighting. Yeah, of course. You know, like of course. But that's so that's that will again change a game because you could have like a war of Pokemon course. and all of a sudden it's like a fire. But type for or a, what I call a uh, more casual, that's why I say yeah, I'm yeah. casual because I'm yeah, not okay. into like every aspect of the game. If yeah, I like it, you haven't sank ten thousand hours. Into no, the game. You're like, like it's crazy, hard yeah. enough. As like, it, there's a lot of stuff to do. If you've got a nine to five job and you play it like a few hours in the in night, the and by a few yeah. hours, I mean, we probably play it from like six o'clock till 10 o'clock sometimes. So yeah, yeah, we yeah. put a good few hours into it sometimes. Most nights, um, yeah. yeah, most nights. And there's enough to take in with the TMs. Yeah, with, yeah there's so much. You know, I mean, <laughs> without sounding patronising, most people can probably work out what's weak against what type-wise. But then you've got to know or your you moves and uh, or you Google it. You've got to know your moves. You've got to then know what's good against what. You know, I mean, how many times have we, you know, shot a move out thinking it's going to be not effective and it's one-shotted the thing that we're <laughs> yeah. trying to capture. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's enough of that in there mm. without putting in terrestrialization yeah, yeah, which yeah. then adds a whole nother level yeah. great for competitive yeah. i can get that and and if you're really really into that sort of side of things but it's like it's it's just that extra level maybe that's but, why they put it in but but I, I reckon when we actually go to do the champion like yeah. league that's probably what we're going to have to rely on mm. is actually thinking about terror types so that you have, because you have your set Pokemon and you're going to have to get through all of them. Uh. So if they all terrestrialize into a type that they don't naturally like have, that will be on your benefit because you might have a Pokemon or all of your Pokemon might be non-effective mm. to whatever they might have. And then, you know, you're screwed. But I have found as well. And I mean, it'd be, again, I haven't read into this and I'm sure someone will go yes or no, but 
I found that certain types of Pokemon are effective pretty much, even if it says not effective, yeah, at a certain some, level sometimes. against everything. Yeah, no, I get you. you know, that's like, usually probably a level type. But it also depends It it depends on your moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. you've got like a fire move, a water move, and a ghost move, for instance. Yeah, as long right? as you've got it mixed up and then all the same. Yeah, you you're going to. It doesn't right. really matter. I mean, obviously, you'll take more damage if you're a certain type, yeah, 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 yeah. but your strength is dependent on your moves, really, yeah, as yeah, a yeah. base player yeah, without yeah. going too into sort of real techie stuff yeah I mean that's why we try and have different like uh, move types you know yeah. rather than just having like all rock moves yeah. or something you know yeah. so because obviously you know if you're a water type you're going to be you know more susceptible to like rock or whatever do you mm. know what I mean like of course that's the case but at the same time if you've got all these different moves you can be quite effective so you can have like yeah, I just don't see the point of terrestrialization for me personally. It's, yeah, it doesn't no, I, enhance. I it doesn't you, enhance yeah, yeah. it for me. But there's always it's just an extra bit of like, rubbish I need to learn. Yeah, but <laughs> just al- like it's a nothing. It there's always that sort of gimmick. Yeah, like in these games, and you. But like Arceus, I really like the alpha thing. Yeah, you know? that, so it was like, oh, it's a massive but one. <laughs> but that again is not a mainline. I know people go, oh, it's mainline, but it's not. It's not yeah. Gen Eight. It's not Gen Nine. It's a no. spin-off. Mm. You know, so and it's not a typical. Pokemon, Pokemon game. game, you know, it ain't. It, there's, there's nothing about it that's yeah. the same, really. But I, I loved Arceus, and I'm sad that they didn't keep things of that in Scarlet and Violet, mm. like the throwing mechanic, like you know, oh, where yeah, you can that do so, all that. So good. I get it mm. because people didn't like that. Some people, a lot of people, did like me and and you. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping we get more Legends games. So we had Legends Arceus. I hope we get Legends something else and Legends something else and Legends something else alongside these main lines. Yeah, I'm disappointed about one thing mostly above terrestrialization and my <laughs> lack of understanding of it evidently. Um, why can't you change out of a school uniform? Ah, this is so what annoying. Kid, what kid in their right mind goes, yeah, I'm going to wear my school uniform all day, every day. Like, I understand, right? If Thanks. I know that you go back to... Maybe that kid lives in a boarding school. <laughs> and has no choice, bless him or her. Um, but yeah, like... I just, I know most kids don't want to wear, I know there are some kids that probably love their school uniform, but most don't want to, you know, as soon as you're out of school, that's the first thing you want to do. Yeah, yeah but you're in school in this game. That's yeah, the but whole point, I think, you're in the I think, yeah, but I think if you enter school, you should have to wear it, you know, or it automatically changes you when you walk through you, the yeah. door. Well, it's... But when you're out and you're adventuring, you're with your friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. would you really have like three versions four, of, yeah. Your, oh yeah, okay, four versions of your like, school uniform yeah. and then just have really flash shoes and you can't change, shoes and you so can't change anything because Christina was like where'd you get those clothes from I play Violet she plays Scarlet mm. and obviously I'm all in purple Christina's all in red obviously and uh, she was like your outfit's way better than mine I was like it's just the school uniform. Mm. And then I realized like, oh yeah, they reflect the game. Yeah. But at the beginning of the game, Christine was like, can you change like stuff? And I was like, yeah, you can change your hair and your outfit and your makeup and like whatever, your shoes and mm. all that. And I was like, but I can't find any clothes shop in the main city. But I feel it's really important because you're constantly looking at your but character. We spent ages like going around the place mm. before Christine was like, I'm Googling it. And then she was like, you can't change your outfit. And I was like, oh, what? Like I I thought... Because you can change everything else, mm. you can change your gloves, your shoes, your bag, and your sunglasses and stuff. I genuinely thought like you would have your own clothes, just like Arceus. Legends Arceus has your own clothes that you can choose yeah. to wear, and you can buy different outfits. You can buy sets of outfits, or like individually. And it's annoying that certain types of hairstyles can't have hats on, yeah. because I I. I've seen them like show you an example with it on a hairstyle, but you can't actually have it on that hairstyle. So they've, I've seen it where they've animated it. They've got the capability there, but then it's just like, no, you can't have a hat. But it's so funny because the the one that you could have a hat on, and I wonder, I don't know if I've like screen recorded it, but one you was one hairstyle you were allowed to have a hat on in the cut scene, the hat cut completely through it. Oh, really? So I was like, right. it was the, I think it was the long hair right, that right, you can right. have, like the, I can't remember what it's called, but long hair. And in the cut scene, if you have a hat on, because I had like the big trilby black hat on, it just, the hat completely cuts through the back of the neck in the cut scene. <laughs> so I was like, so they've told you you can't have 
hats on certain styles. You could styles, decapitate yourself. But you can have this one that's going to glitch and look really weird in the cutscenes. Yeah, great. Nice. Okay. And that, well, that was a bit like me. I was like, why do you need helmets? I was like, you can buy helmets. I was like, it's pretty lame. Like, but then and, you did look and like. And then Dark I was Punk. like, I was like, I found a helmet that I'm going to wear, <laughs> and it looked like Daft Punk. It was yeah, that's cool. very good. But I was like, right, okay, fine. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. I really like Scarlet and Violet in terms of playing them. Mm. They're fun, you yeah, know, like they are. and and mainly because there's proper multiplayer where we can actually play together and enjoy these games together because mm. we love doing that and and that's great. But there's still like major issues with it. Like performance-wise it's just terrible. There's other things that could have changed. Like Game Freak really needs to pull the finger out or Nintendo and the Pokémon company need to say right Game Freak go and work with monolith soft or something like somebody that actually knows how to make games and not just game boy games or just like you know rely on your community like they plan to do and like how that who was it that found that they literally found the reason why it was doing oh, that people were saying there was a memory leak and yeah and then they were that, like yeah, yeah if you just did this but they haven't fix done it. that they, <laughs> they, like... haven't, they haven't done anything they haven't uh, as of now recording but that's that massive no argument fix. about which is a whole other topic it's that massive argument about games not being as optimized as yeah, they yeah. once me, were. Yeah, me and AJ did a whole video about this like six months ago or more. I'll probably like link the video mm. at the end of this one or something. But yeah, I mean, Game Freak, I think the problem is is they try and push a Pokemon game out every year. Mm. Th that's not that's enough time. No, for especially for this world, massive game. The biggest, most ambitious game ever. And again, it is Game Freak. It's a small studio. Yeah. Even though Pokemon's like the biggest, most financially successful thing on the planet yeah. almost they, for some reason, don't put enough into it and give them enough time. I would rather wait three years or five years for a really amazing But they need one. that money coming through. Yeah, of course they do. You but know? they can do the spin-offs, do other games, yeah. do Arceus, do whatever else they do. It depends whether they've got capability. Right. I mean, we watched that thing on Netflix ages Hi, ago. Hi, people. you got the money. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we watched this thing ages ago about game developers and um, they were pushing out like a... I can't oh, it was an indie game It was developer. an indie game yeah, developer. I mean, obviously, it's a much smaller scale scale but you do understand the pressures that they go oh, through how long it takes to do it how yeah, little yeah. money they have until their next project know, is actually but you live think of how much money pokemon generate oh yeah out of the games alone let alone all the franchise like merchandise yeah. the, the anime Events. like everything you yeah. can buy pokemon anything you probably buy a pokemon toothbrush and you're right you well you definitely can because i almost bought one <laughs> but besides the point you know the the games alone make hundreds of millions you know like yeah, they, they make so much money and then they've got like 10 guys sweating it out in a you know back room <laughs> yeah, trying to pump him. out a game every year and that's what their like company is relying on mm. that is just wrong like yeah. they you need to invest money to make money and surely they should know that everybody has now just heard how angry you were there yeah. <laughs> But no, I totally agree. But I mean, moral of the story for me is that the game is absolutely amazing, regardless of it of, of its flaws. And it's definitely worth playing. It's great for like playing with someone locally. It's great to play with someone online. It's the same yeah, experience. Yeah, you can have up to four people, which four is amazing. Four people, yeah. And especially when you go into the mm. actual like terrestrialization mm. battles, whatever you call them. Um, but then, yeah, you know, yeah, you can have up to four the people. So the raids, that, yeah. Those battles, you can actually join as a team if you don't yeah. know. So bit, you can have four people Pokemon in. Go-esque. Yeah, yeah, it basically that's what it's inspired by, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. But that's fun because you can all join in on a battle there yeah. and you get the chance and opportunity to like capture, you know, a rare Pokemon. I haven't seen any rare Pokemon. We in have. Those we, we've yet. done like four star raids. We haven't done yeah, any Yeah, But five I didn't star see any yet. I haven't I've very rarely seen something that you can't normally catch anyway. Oh yeah, pretty much everything you can catch. Which anyway. is annoying. But it's normally like the terrestrialized type, the terror terror type. You know? But any anyway, <laughs> like that's that's that. I mean, if you're Gonna play this on your own. I think you're gonna love mm. it. If you're gonna play it with friends, gonna love it. If you've got like a younger sibling or maybe like a your own kid that's younger and you want to join in with them yeah. and actually like be with them, like that is what I love about this. Mm. Is it really opens up the doors? Because as a kid, I was just like by myself in yeah. this world, you know, and that was it, isolated. But now you can really, you know, expand that. And I really hope go going forward now that is something that they improve upon and that they all have multiplayer. Mm. Even if they don't continue the open world, which I reckon they will, but if they didn't, st I still want multiplayer like yeah. this, you know? Mm. Even the next Arceus game, I would love multiplayer so that yeah. we can just go around throwing balls everywhere because that's basically all Arceus, isn't it? Yeah. But there we go. I've no idea how long we've been speaking for. 
But that's probably enough. I've aged. I've aged. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Christina on the channel. Woohoo! If you have, please let us, let us know down. Rewind. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Let us know your thoughts and let us know what you think of this kind of video. Do you want to see more of this or do you not care? <laughs> or shall I just do this? There you go. Yeah, that's it. But anyway, let us know down in the comments and go and check out one of these videos just here in between us. And Christina's going to point just here as well. And you can watch one of them. Because why not? Okay, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.